Okay, we're getting ready to make a mixed fruit juice out of the Hamilton Beach juicer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I like to put a bag in this little bucket right here where all the other stuff goes after it's juiced. It's a lot less work when you have to clean up. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Stick it right on there. And that's where all the uh, skins and everything else go. Now, you'll notice that I've got raspberries, grapes, I've got blueberries in here, I've got pears, I've got apples, I've got strawberries, and, and, uh, and also bananas at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and put the cover on, and we're going to start the process here. If I can figure out how to get this top on. There we go. So now what you have to do is you have to bring this lever up, make sure it's secure. And I like to do, uh, there's two settings on this uh, little juicer. There's high and there's low. So I like to put it on, uh, on high. There's one thing I forgot. And that's the little container that we're going to put the juice in, which is right here. So we're going to stick that right in there. We're going to go ahead and turn the unit on. And we're going to start putting all this stuff in there. This my little... Actually, which, what you want to do, you can see the juice coming out there already, <laughs> but what you really want to do is you want to fill the uh, little container up first with your fruits, and then put your cover on, and then mix it, because if you don't, the stuff will go all over, all over the place. So we're just going to put this stuff in there. <clears throat> Throw that grape in the garbage because it dropped on the floor. And we're ready to roll. So here we go. You can see the juice coming out. Go ahead and turn it off. Wait for everything to stop. And start putting some more stuff in there. Fill it right up. You see we got the strawberries, we got the blueberries. The only thing I didn't put this time was oranges. Because I really thought that it made the uh, juice a bit sour. So I put pears instead this time. Bartlett pears. And there we go. Let's do it. in there. The bananas kind of give it a little texture. It's almost like a milkshake, actually. But it's really, really good. Let's go ahead and stick some bananas in there. And after we get done doing this, after we get our juice, we're going to puree it in another mixer, like a blender, and I'll show you that in a little bit. There we go. 
go. You'll see how much juice we've already got. I usually make a whole bowl, one of these wooden bowls full. And that gives me and my wife three days to drink it. Because you don't want it set, you don't want to uh, put this in the refrigerator for more than three days because then it starts to uh, create bacteria, which we don't want. So we make sure we drink the juice within three days before we make, make the next batch. In fact, what I do, I just, my wife just cut up a bunch of strawberries and we stuck them in the freezer. So when we make our next batch, we don't have to worry about the fruit being bad. So this one's ready, let's go ahead and do this one. Get the rest of them in here. Got the rest of that right in there, and there we go. Make sure you get all the juice. You can still. You can see that juice is still coming out. And there you have it. We have almost a whole container full of juice. You can see how full it is. And uh, we're gonna be back in a couple of minutes because uh, I wanna show you how we puree it. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> okay, we're back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use my Ninja to kind of blend this up a little bit and we're gonna use puree. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the unit on. And then we're gonna dump some of this in. You can't dump the whole thing in because it will get too much. So we're gonna put like that much in. And then we're gonna put the cover on, close it up, make sure it's sealed, and we're gonna hit puree. If you put too much in, it becomes too much. Good enough for that batch. I'm gonna take the cover off. You gotta be careful when you take the cover off because you'll see there's stuff underneath it. And we're gonna go ahead and pour this in here. Oops, wrong bowl. Pour it in our juicer cup. You can see how nice and smooth that is now. Go ahead and put this back on. Dump the rest of the stuff in there. The rest of the juice. Kind of mixes everything up really, really good. Make sure everything's tight, sealed. And we're going to go ahead and hit puree.
And there you go. Fresh juice with all those different ingredients. And it's going to taste some yummy. And there you go. You're all set. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and share. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye for now.